There we go guys, NFS Rivals has successfully booted on WinLater 2.0. This is WinLater 2.0. Yo what's up guys, it's Aptrex here. The biggest update of WinLater's history has just released on its official GitHub page. It has lot of performance improvements, bug fixes and compatibility has been increased. Today I'll be explaining all the new features, we'll be setting it up on my Android device and before starting, if you guys are new here, be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notifications as I upload similar videos on my channel. With that being said, let's get started through today's video. Alright guys, let's begin. Right here, I have updated my WinLater to WinLater 2.0, let's just go ahead and check out its app info and you'll be able to see version is 2.0. Now let's quickly set up WinLater Android by creating a brand new container and I'll see if there are any new options. I can already see it right here, original wine D3D, a brand new option. Anyways, container 1 will be our new container. Screen resolution will keep it as 800 by 600. You guys should also use this resolution for better performance. In graphics driver, we get Virgil, Turnip Plus Sync as well as LLVM Pipe. Now I always recommend you guys to use Turnip Plus Zinc or if you have an Mali GPU Android device then go with Virgil. DX Wrapper, now there are a lot of options such as DXVK 2.2, Wine D3D 7.8, Original Wine D3D etc. But today we'll go with Original Wine D3D to see if there are any performance improvements in the Assassin's Creed game which I'll be testing later on. Let's enable all 8 cores and also tick mark the show FPS option. Now before moving any further let me explain to you guys win later 2.0 change log so improved Virgil compatibility so more Mali GPU devices are supported along with improved performance, improved input controls, audio plugins as well as added option for custom wine version, added advanced tab in container settings, added Mesa turnip driver, updated box 64 as well as added more DX wrappers, other bug fixes and improvements. So let's just go ahead and take a look at the advanced tab in the container settings. There we go we have the advanced tab and here we can choose box 86 preset. It is compatibility, box64 preset is also compatibility. Now it has been officially confirmed that WinLater has used box86 and box64 which is a really great news because it means that we'll get the same performance as box64 droid and also same compatibility if not better. I have also added my drive. Now we can go to DX components make sure to use direct sound as native windows. Once all these settings have been done let's just go ahead and tap on the tick mark option and it will create our brand new container. Afterwards, we'll just go ahead and tap on these three lines. Now you also get the brand new option of storage info as well as able to remove or duplicate your container. Let's just go ahead and tap on run and we'll also check out the new input controls in just a bit. There we go, our emulator has successfully booted and there are no new loading screens so we can just go ahead and go back. We can go to input controls. Afterwards, we'll choose RTS then tap on OK. Alright, the input controls are similar to previous. We'll be using RTS profile. Let's tap on OK. I'll again go back. Tap on toggle full screen for a full screen experience which is way superior. One thing which I definitely noticed is that WinLater is super smooth now. Like everything loads super fast which is pretty cool. And I have opened Assassin's Creed game on my WinLater emulator. At the top left corner you will be able to see the FPS bar. For some reason the game isn't booting so I'll just head back and try changing graphics driver. Alright guys, I have tried many things like changing the graphics driver and also DX wrapper but nonetheless my game isn't booting it's just showing a black screen let me show you guys what I'm working with uh, we tried everything but the game was not starting so we'll go back to default settings we'll use DXVK 2.2 and turn it plus zinc. The GPU which I was using was 9800 GT as well as video memory size was set to 2 GB. This must not be an issue so we'll tick mark again, we'll go to run and I'll try out a different game this time. We'll try out Need for Speed which worked flawlessly on the Box64 Droid emulator. Before doing that let me just go ahead and tap on the start option. Let's go to wine configuration. We'll set the windows version as windows 10, we'll tap on apply. Let's try Need for Speed Rivals, there we go. At the top left corner you will be able to see the title of the game and let's see if it actually boots or not because it's pretty weird Assassin's Creed isn't booting so I hope okay we have a loading screen that's pretty cool there we go guys NFS Rivals has successfully booted on WinLater 2.0 let me just go ahead and go back we'll toggle full screen we'll also toggle input controls as RTS we'll tap on OK the FPS which I should be getting is pretty great because just take a look at how smooth is this game running. 
Like this is just a loading screen, I know. Even in Box 64 Droid, it used to lag so much. Let's wait until the game starts. I hope it doesn't force stop or force close. There we go, guys. The cutscene is over. All right, the game has started, but unfortunately, as you guys can see, I'm trying to drag the mouse, but it's just not listening to me. So I guess this is a bug which needs to be fixed ASAP with the win later 2.0. Guys, I'm really surprised the game isn't lagging at all. It's running at straight up 60 FPS which is never been seen before all right guys our game has successfully started and like i am really surprised i am really surprised i know i have said this many times but i wasn't expecting this game to work anyways that's going to be it for today's video thanks for watching make sure to hit that like button subscribe turn on all notification i'll see you guys next time peace out